Hey guys, I'm Pixel Dan, and this is a review of the Halo Artifacts Plus One Tenth Scale Master Chief PVC Statue from Kotobukiya. That's right, Kotobukiya has launched a new line of Halo Artifacts Plus statues, and these add a really interesting and fun twist to their usual Artifacts Plus lineup. So let's check out Master Chief. As you can see, it comes in a really nice box that has a great image of the statue right there on the front. And as you flip that around to the backside, we get a description of this new line, along with some more photographs of the included statue. It's also in a really great Velcro fold open box, so you can open up that like a book there, and it showcases the figure and all of the armor bits on the inside via a window box. This is where things get really fun. As you can see, you got to assemble this figure yourself. So let's go ahead and open up that box and take a closer look at it. So, upon removing everything from the packaging, you'll see we've got quite a few pieces of armor here and we have the actual body with no armor on it. So this is what makes this very unique to anything that we've seen Kotobukiya do with their Artifacts Plus lineup so far. We have the ability to completely assemble this guy. Uh, we have just this blank body that has the black bodysuit on that you would see underneath Master Chief or any of the other Spartans. And then you see all these little plugs on here where we're going to plug in all of the armor bits as well as the feet, the hands, and the head. The reason for that is because Kotobukiya is releasing several armor sets, which allow you to build any one of the Spartans that you want, or even mix and match the parts to create your own very unique looking Spartan. So this initial set here just gives us the pieces for Master Chief, so let me show you guys how we're going to assemble this here today. There's a sheet of instructions included that will help you with this process, but it's very straightforward, uh, and I'm going to go ahead and just show you how it's done right here, so that you guys can get a good look at it. All of the armor bits uh, have the little initials on the inside to let you know if it's for the left leg or the right leg, which will help you in putting these together. So, I'm going to go ahead and show you here how we're going to assemble them just by sliding on the armor bits. We're going to start with the legs, and the first thing we're going to do is slide on the thigh armor there, which you can see just slides right up the leg, and it fits nice and snug. So you don't have to worry about it being loose or falling off once it's put on. We then have the knee pads, and the thing that is really nice is any of the parts that have a plug, where you actually have to plug in the pegs, they are sculpted in a way to where they're, you were, they're unique to that specific body part. So I can't accidentally mix up the knee pads because the peg holes are different on each of those. So we plug in the knee pad, and then we got the uh, calf, uh, the shin armor there, so we'll just slide that up again, fits nice and snug. Okay, so we got all the armor on the legs, so now we're just going to attach the feet, which you can see, just a peg system here. So you get the nice little press on there, plugs the feet in nice and solid on those pegs. You can see, holds very well. The lower half of our Spartan is done, and you can see he's nicely balanced. He stands very well on his own. So we've got the uh, front armor here, we've got the back armor, again, works on a peg system. Nice, firm grip, so it's very easy to attach. Uh, we're going to go ahead and do the arms now. So we got the shoulder armor and this armor just kind of slides right up and goes all the way up the arm there and kind of plugs in right before the ball joint at the top of the arm. Um, that is something that is really cool about this and definitely worth pointing out while we've got all the armor off. Kotobuki has added articulation to this statue quite a bit more than we've ever seen on any of their Artifacts Plus statues before. We've always seen a little bit of limited articulation, which is great for poses. So while the lower body here is all static, the upper body does have a really nice torso joint, which you can see kind of rocks the torso around. And then we've got ball joints at the shoulders, so the arms can go up, forwards, and back. We've got swivels at the bicep, and we've got standard joint at the elbow, and you'll see that there's a ball joint at the head. So this is going to offer some different posing options for once we get this guy all the way put together. So let's finish doing that. That. Got the forearm armor there, slides over just like that. And then we've got the hands, which just like the feet are on pegs, so we can pop those hands on there. And we do have different options for the hands. I'm going to go ahead and start with the fists. Do the other arm here. Get that forearm armor plugged on, plug in our fist. There we go. So now we're going to do the body armor. You want to start on the back 
with the piece that goes right there on the upper back. That once you want to plug that on before you do the actual chest armor. The chest armor then plugs onto the front of the figure with a peg, and then we plug the back armor on, which you can see is a combination of this little peg slot as well as attaching to the front armor there. And the reason you got to put this on first is because it kind of fits underneath this armor. So take the last pieces of the armor there. Plug it right onto the back just like that. It attaches to the front armor up here and down below. So you want to make sure you get that nice and lined up. There we go. Okay. And it's locked on nice and tight. Looks very good. And the last thing you're going to want to do is pop the head on the ball joint. So just like that. The first time you do it, it'll be a little snug, but that's good. It just needs to kind of loosen up. And there we go. Now we have our Master Chief assembled and ready for display. Last little bit on here, which is really, really great, is the included display base. Um, you might remember, if you're familiar with Kotobukiya's Artifacts Plus line, then you might be familiar with their magnetic system in the feet. So Master Chief and their new Halo figures use that, but we have this really great metal base uh, that's got the Halo logo kind of embossed in it there. And what we can do is stand Master Chief right on this base, and those little magnets on his feet are very strong, nice and firm, and that way we get a nice solid base for Master Chief to stand on. And there you go, my friends. There is your fully assembled statue. So the statue is in the one-tenth scale, which puts him at close to eight inches tall. So you can see he's over seven inches tall there. And it's overall just a beautiful sculpted piece. I really love the details on this guy. Uh, the armor bits and everything are highly detailed with a beautiful paint job. Uh, it's got that really kind of dark tone green that Master Chief is known for. But I love all of the little ex extra added bits in there. Um, you can see there's kind of some silvers where the armor is dinged up and scratched. So it definitely looks like he's battle worn um, and just some really great details in the sculpt and the paintwork going all the way down the figure very accurate to the character that we see in the video game so he's a really great representation of the character in figure or statue form i love the helmet as well he's got that signature helmet which looks fantastic amazing sculpt again great colors a little bit of silver kind of dry brushed on there to make it kind of sparkle and shine a little bit especially where there's any scratches or dings and then of course we've got that visor which is a really great kind of glossy gold or copper color um, that really stands out just an overall amazing looking piece so really really looks great and with that articulation that I was talking about, uh, you can see that that helps to add quite a bit of variety to the different ways that you can pose the statue, which is very nice. Of course, you can swap out the hands on there if you want to, uh, which works great so that we can hold on to his signature weapon. So we've got the right hand that swaps out with a nice trigger finger to hold on to his blaster. Very, very cool accessory. Again, amazing sculpt, very nice detail with a really good paint job. And we can get that posed in his hands there. Um, I've actually found that it's a little bit easier to put this in the hand before you plug it on. Um, but that way we can get a nice grip on it there. You can see the trigger finger comes over the trigger a bit. We can plug that hand back in. We can even swap out the other hand if you want to so that we got a nice open palm, which is perfect so that we can actually get some poses with him kind of gripping the front of the rifle there. And we can get some amazing poses with him just standing, holding onto that blaster, or we can even get him in some great action poses as if he's running into battle or maybe uh, throwing out some orders, anything like that. There's just a lot of different ways that we can pose this guy, even with the limited artillery articulation that he has and I absolutely love that about this piece. Um, it's always fun when you've got a really nice high quality statue collectible that also has a limited amount of articulation so that you can change up the way you pose them on your shelf. I think that is fantastic. And again, with the mix and match features with the other armor bits that you can buy, that's also going to help because they all utilize that same body, but that way you can have Spartans standing on the shelf in various poses alongside each other. So there you go, my friends. There is a look at the brand new Halo Master Chief 110th scale Artifacts Plus statue from Kotobukiya. Very special thanks to Kotobukiya for sending this along so I could take a look at it. And guys, be sure to stay tuned because I am also going to be taking a look at some of the other armor sets that are available in another video very, very soon. So for more information on Kotobukiya and their products, be sure to check them out online at www.kotous.com and give them a like on Facebook at facebook.com slash Until next time.